Hello guys, welcome to today's video. It is going to be a bit of a barn vlog kind of a day. I have a bit on the agenda this afternoon actually. First I am going to... Ooh, that was a branch falling down just then. It is a little bit breezy today. Tic Tac, you don't care? She says, I don't care because there could be food so I'm not going to run away. So yes, first up I'm going to go in and catch Peach and I'm going to give her a quick ride. I've set up a few like pole work challenges for her today. I've been trying to do a lot more pole work recently because it's time for her to start getting a little bit fitter and stronger and it's a nice cruisy way to also practice her jumping a little bit. But yes, oh hello! And then this little one, as long as it's not too windy, I actually want to get her out and have a bit of play around with rugging her today. So I have been working up to it all week, doing little bits and pieces with her, but I kind of want to get her into one of the yards and see if we can actually get one on her and get her to relax. While wearing one, we will see how we go with that. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's a little bit windy today, so I will see how I go. <laughs> And then I'm going to get out Mr. Fletch and he just needs a little bit of a wash. He's got like some fungal stuff happening on his legs again. He's so susceptible to it. It happens like around this time every single year and it's just, oh, it's so stubborn. So I've got to give him a bit of a medicated wash today. So that is also on the agenda. So you guys can all see Fletch. I feel like he hasn't been in a video for a while. So it'll be nice for him to be on screen. You guys can get a little update. But yes, I'm going to go and catch this Miss Peach. Hey. Hi. Hello, center of attention, me Tinka, me Tinka, pretty girl. biggest challenge at the moment getting peach out without these two escaping at the same time Before I jump on and start warming up Miss Peach, I wanted to say a huge thank you to My Dolores for sponsoring today's video. They have also very kindly <laughs> dressed me today and they've also very, very kindly provided me with a discount code for you guys. It is HAND20. It very generously gives you 20% off their items. So make sure if you're in the market for a riding outfit and you want to pick something up, make sure to use it before then so that you can save those dollars. This is the BIM half zip and I've also got the Alessandra rib top underneath that as well which is very like a light airy top. It's very very comfortable. I'm going to be wearing that a lot during summer I can already predict. And on the bottom half I have got the Lexi breeches. Now they are technically breeches on the website but I would say these ones in particular are much more like a riding tight in my opinion. I am, you guys already know, I'm very much team riding tight. I really enjoy riding in them and I definitely tend to buy them a lot more than I do actual breeches. If you are team riding tights like me, 
100% go for these ones. If you prefer breeches, I highly, highly recommend checking out their compression range. So they sent me compression breeches as well. And they are the, hands down, the most comfortable breeches I have ever tried in my life. On the sizing quickly too, I'm wearing an extra small in absolutely everything. I am usually like a size six to eight in Australian clothing, if that kind of gives you guys an idea. So if you are in the market for some new riding clothes, if you're thinking about getting another pair of breeches or riding tights, I highly recommend going and checking Maya Dolores out. If you haven't before, you are not gonna regret picking up some of these items. The quality is just so, so beautiful. And again, use code HAND20 if you wanna get a discount. I think I'm actually gonna be using my own code to go and buy even more items because I am officially converted. All right, Miss Peach, we're gonna get you going, get you warmed up. Like I was saying, I've got a little bit of a pole situation set up for her today. So we have got some canned poles in the background. So five strides, but we're gonna try and get like six strides and maybe try and get four strides. Practicing our adjustability, it's really important. We've gotta start working on the basics now, Peach, so that we can get your jumping going. We've got your standard trot poles. We've got trot poles on a curving line and then back down here, I've got a little bouncers with poles on the ground. So today is all about practicing like our basic jumping principles, like adjustability, plus doing some gymnastic stuff, getting her a bit stronger. Stuff that's like really low impact, but is gonna help us a lot with her jumping. Okay. You got Lisa on your nose. She's very excited about it, as you guys can tell. Come on, Peach, let's warm up. What do you reckon? Are you coming? Are you coming? Oh, good girl. <laughs>
All right, that is Miss Peach done for the day. She was really, really good, especially considering how um, energetic Baby Tic Tac and Baby Bee were when I was getting them out. I wasn't sure if she was gonna be a bit tense. It is still a little bit windy as well, but she was really, really good. She took all the exercises really well. And actually, it was pretty tough for her. She was like panting at the end, not panting, but she was breathing really hard. She's got a bit of a sweat going. It's amazing how, I know Peach. It is amazing how um, difficult poles can be. <laughs> they don't look it, but whew, they really do test your fitness, don't they, Peach? In the end, I decided to just run through the canter strides a couple of times. She was starting to get tired, and I was like, do you know what? She's doing a really good job, so I'm just gonna leave it here. And actually, our arena is surprisingly wet. It doesn't look like it, but once you're going, you realize that it is. So I left the bounce exercise just for today, because I felt like the, um, the corner coming into it was quite tight, so I was like, I don't really want to risk it while the ground's wet. Just in case we have a bit of slipping and sliding happening, it is not worth it. So we will leave that for another day. Peach is ready to return back to her paddock well and truly. So I'm going to keep cooling her down now. A quick wash. And then we are going to go and grab Mr. Fletch. See, Fletch is also a little bit tense. Yeah, I know. He doesn't come out too often. He spends a lot of time just being a beautiful paddock ornament these days. So we're a bit stressed. Isn't it? You will be returned in five minutes' time. Fletch. Relax, I just gotta wash your legs. And then you'll be straight back for dinner. This is what I mean about Peach and him being so super attached to each other for whatever reason. Like at the moment his paddock mate isn't even calling out for him, but I can hear Peach calling for him and she's in the paddock with like the two other girls. This is silly. Are you going to do a nervous wee? This is a big overreaction to spending five minutes away from your paddock friends. See? Oh, clear. I'm gonna get this troublemaker all rubbed back up again because it is definitely getting cold now and his leg wash is all done. He says, take me back to my peach. I want to go back to my peach. I hate it out here. <laughs> Anyways, he's had his little pan possession and with the leg washing, if you have a horse that gets similar stuff, I tend to do that little wash session probably every couple of days and usually it takes maybe like two, two to three weeks and it will like come under control. But obviously talk to your vet if you're having like huge issues with it which occasionally I do have to end up getting some creams and stuff like that, depending on how bad it gets. Fletcher's are so susceptible to this kind of stuff, always has been. And I know a lot of people have been asking, I have filmed like a proper update on what my plans are for this guy. And I think it will come out in like two weeks time. I just need to finish editing it. So yeah, I'll give you guys like the full on 
rundown everything that's happened what the plan is and all that sort of stuff very soon because I know a lot of people are wondering um, so yeah coming soon guys So now that TikTok is a little bit older, turn to you now, you're going to start learning to do some big horse things like coming out of the panic for a little bit and coming into the yard. The girls are like literally 10 meters behind us. Ah! Wait. Yes. <laughs> you can obviously hear them. So I guess like my first step to all of this is because TikTok loves being brushed. She also loves food too, so that could be a good motivator, but I want to start bringing her in here and it can literally just be for like five minutes and we just come into the yard and then, you know, once she relaxes a little bit, she gets to go back to the paddock and just so she can start to, just so that she can start to understand that leaving the girls for five minutes at a time is not a big deal and we're going to go back and it's all good, nothing to be stressed about. All week I've been working up to getting these on her, so I started off with... Peaches Nefrod, so I thought this might work quite well because Peach has been wearing it in the paddock so it smells like Peach and also because it's smaller it's not as overwhelming as a huge rug going on her for the very first time. So at the beginning I would just pop it on her like that or just up next to her while she was eating her dinner and at first she would always try and walk off but it probably only took like one or two times and she started to chill out with it. Really, I just like was persistent with it. I would just hold it there until she stopped. The minute she was stopped, I would pull it off again. I'm not like master horse trainer or anything, but I always just try and be really patient with them. And that's like really how I've approached everything with TikTok is not to make it too overwhelming and just work up to things. Like same with the leading and stuff too. Like it's not like it all has to happen in one day. And even if it takes a few weeks, like there's no problem with that. Now, funnily enough, this rug is actually the first ever rug that I bought for Peach. And it actually is the right size for Tic Tac, which is crazy to me that at two years old, she fits into her mum's rug. Something tells me it's just not really going to be an issue with her. Good girl. Wow. Such a brave girl. She doesn't even care. What do you reckon about being a red horse? Right, we like to keep the training sessions nice and short and sweet and I think TikTok could not have done better today. And she's even not too fast that she had to leave Bacardi and Peach. So she did them very well. Let us put her back and she's gonna have her dinner now. Such a grown up gear. I cannot. I'm so proud of TikTok. Like literally, probably to other people, they're like, oh cool, like you put a rug on her, but I'm just so proud of her. Like she's just she's just such a good girl. I'm just like I know I'm very biased and I'm just like a super proud parent, but the fact that she just let me put a rug on her, do it all up, walk her around, like she literally acted like she's had one on a thousand times before. And I don't know, I'm just really proud of her. She's such a good girl. I really hope the whole like 
starting backing process is going to be <laughs> as easy as getting a rug on her was, but we'll see. <laughs> and I do apologize. I feel like maybe I was a bit low energy towards the end of this video. It is because I think as I was putting Fletch away, I realized one of his teeth is looking maybe not quite right. So I've got to go and speak to my vet now. I just get a bit stressed when it comes to him and finding more things wrong. I just, just can't really deal. Just, yeah, a bit upsetting, but I will not get upset until I've spoken to the vet and actually find out if the tooth is actually, you know, in trouble or not. <laughs> so on that note too, I will definitely put out an update on Fletch very, very soon, like a dedicated video because a lot has happened in the last year and I can kind of explain a little bit more about what's happened and my plans for him in the future as well. Uh, so yeah, but make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my now regular uploads again. And you can also find myself and more importantly, the ponies on my Instagram and TikTok at hand.equestrian if you want to see more of them. I post there regularly as well. Alright, I'll see you guys all next week. Bye guys. Touching all the time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>